Hi everyone, welcome back to Friday Fun. For today's activity, we are going to be going on a color scavenger hunt. So with the weather still being warm out and with the fall season upon us, it's the perfect time to get outside and explore our neighborhoods. So the first thing you'll wanna do is make your scavenger hunt card. What you'll need for that are markers, some paper, a Ziploc bag, and some tape. Instead of paper and a Ziploc bag, you can use a paper lunch bag. That way you'll be able to write on the outside and then you'll be able to put your items that you find on your scavenger hunt right inside of the bag itself. So let's get started and make our scavenger hunt bag. So the first thing you're gonna do is take your paper and your markers and go ahead and draw some colored squares on your paper. So it doesn't matter what colors you use, you can pick whichever you like. I've selected eight, you can do more or less. You can make different scavenger cards. That way everyone on the hunt can have a different one. Or you can make the same and everyone has the same scavenger hunt card. All right, so I'm done my card. That's what it looks like. I've colored in eight different squares on my paper. And then the next step I'm gonna do is tape it onto my Ziploc bag. All right, so my scavenger hunt card is taped onto my bag and I'm ready to go out on my scavenger hunt. So what I'm gonna do is I can either um, go for a walk in the park or on a trail or even just my front yard or my backyard and I'm gonna try and find eight different items that correspond to each color. So a yellow item, an orange item, a red item and so on. I'm gonna make sure that when I'm on my scavenger hunt, I'm following all the safety rules and that if you need to be with an adult, you do so and you go on your walk with the adult um, and have fun. So let's go on our scavenger hunt. So I'm halfway done my scavenger hunt and I thought I'd stop to show you what I found so far. So I found a green leaf, a gray rock, black piece of bark, and a red leaf. So I'm halfway there. I still need to find something yellow, brown, blue, and green. So make sure when you're on your scavenger hunt that you're following your safety rules and you're on your walks uh, with an adult. A fun activity you can do once everyone's filled their scavenger hunt and found something for every color, you can gather around all together, have show and tell, and share with everyone all the fun things you found. Hope you guys enjoyed this activity. See you next time.